Eve show. We'll be talking about personality disorders today. We have three guests on the show. Please help me welcome our first guest, Andresa. I think that I've noticed this more and I've been suffering with it more because I've, I've just been having these feelings where everybody that I thought was close to me, my family, my fiance, they are all in some way, they, I just, I feel like they're betraying me. Like they, they don't care about me, they don't care about my feelings, they try to do everything to hurt me. And I just, I, I don't know what to do. Um, okay, so how have they shown that they, that they love you or that they hurt you? They, I don't know, I just, they don't understand me. Um, for example, um, let's see, something, re something that has happened recent. Uh, it's okay. My fiance and I, we were supposed to meet up one day and he, I had to wait for him for 30, 40 minutes and he got there and he told me, oh, you know, there's traffic and I just, I couldn't understand. He, he you know, he could have left work earlier, he could have done something, you know, he could have done something to be there on time. I don't understand why he couldn't be there on time. Yeah. I don't, you know, it's not, you know, traffic, he could have left work. Okay. So, was that a very important, um, I just, time? if he tells me he's going to be somewhere, I want him to be there. Okay. So he did, that's, that was his excuse, just traffic, traffic. Well, yeah, that he, he was working and he had traffic on the way. So tell me more about yourself. Um, maybe tell me something about your childhood. Have you had any um, similar experiences of feeling, or of being hurt by anyone? Well, recently? my parents, I, my, my parents divorced when I was very young. Okay. And um, so I was raised by my mother. And growing up, when I started dating, my mom would find some sort of problem with all of my boyfriends. And we would always end up breaking up because of something that happened or, but she would always try to. Something that happened some, with your parents or? No, something that happened in the relationship that I was with, the person that I was dating. And but my mom would always try to point out some sort of problem with every single boyfriend. Um, we were always very close, and then when I broke up with my previous boyfriend, she started dating someone and she just, she left. She just left me. Your mother just left you? Yeah, she just, she just left me. She... So who were you left with? Like, were you by yourself? How did you manage from there on? Oh, I was 25 at the time. Um, but it's just, I, I couldn't understand why she would, you know, just always want to be with me and all of a sudden she didn't want to be with me anymore. Okay. So, <clears throat> tell me about your, tell me more about your current relationship. Like, um, is, how, how is that, he's your fiance. Right. And you're having all these problems. So, how do you feel about your relationship at this point in time? Um, I would like to say that things are going to work out and everything, but it's just, he just, he doesn't understand. I would never do anything to hurt him. Okay. And for some reason, he thinks, you know, he just finds different ways to hurt me. He's always making up, you know, different appointments. Whenever we have something that was planned, he's always, you know, putting me aside. Um, and this is something that I have felt recent, um, recently. Um, 
like he got a call from a client asking to schedule an appointment on the same day that we had our date. I thought it was my duty to tell this person that he could not see this client. He wasn't there at the time, so I said it, and the client only called after our date night, saying, oh, you know, yeah, I couldn't call before, I know you didn't have time, and he got mad at me. He just, he, he, could, he got mad at me. He got, he said, why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. Um, it was an important, important client, it was a big sale. I, I couldn't understand. I thought I did something that was right because it was our date night. So it's just, I find that I have to, he's just not keeping his promises to me. Okay. And I do everything for him. So do you at any point have like a turn of feelings towards him? Like you, the, do you feel as though it's a love-hate relationship? Because you seem very, um, seem like you get upset with him very often about these things. It hasn't been, I mean, often, uh, it hasn't been for a long period of time. I have felt this, it has been something, off, you know, recent. Um, but it's just, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think he loves me anymore. So, what are you going to do about that situation? What do you intend to do? I just, I don't know what I would do if he me. I don't know. So, he's your, your, your world, basically. Is that what you're telling me? I would like, I would like it if he felt, and this is something that I, I don't feel, but he, this is how he sees me, but I would like it if he saw me the same way. Okay, Andresa, so have you ever gotten to the point of like say an emotional breakdown whereby you were driven to harm yourself? In a previous relationship, yes. Like I said, for some reason people just tend to leave. Um, and in one of these situations I just I felt the need to just to just end it. And I ended up cutting my wrist and that was that was yes I would say the one moment okay Andresa is showing uh, symptoms of attachment of fear of abandonment mood irritab irritability break we're gonna find out what Andresa made me suffer disorder and typically this disorder people with this disorder show symptoms of idealization whereby they have some like a strong form of attachment to someone and they have unrealistic expectations then there's also the devaluation where they suddenly detach from this person that they once idealized or they can display the splitting where they can one day they're attached to following they were detached and um, in this, this personality disorder uh, people typically have fall, like have a model that they would follow and in your case it's your mother where she was with you and she just left so um, this has caused you to develop this disorder but there's good news that there's treatment for this disorder and the treatments offered for borderline personality 
or drug therapy whereby you can get medication for to manage borderline personality disorder and um, it's gonna send you to an outpatient clinic to whereby you can get uh, psychotherapy specifically cognitive behavior therapy so that you may be able not only to manage your disorder but in order to learn exactly how to change progressively how it started. Thank you, Francie. No, thank you. Thank you for coming to our show. It was a pleasure having you. We'll be right back with our next guest. Childhood illnesses. We know them all too well. The raspy little voices, the scary fevers, the achy tummies. But some illnesses are difficult to read. Mood swings, anxiety, sadness, hyperactivity are all potential signs of disorders. Children's mental health is just as real and important as their physical health. Learn more and help your child feel good inside and out. Well, welcome back to the Francine Show. Our second guest for today suffers from a different type of personality disorder. We're about to find out, but before, help me welcome Francisco. Francisco, tell me about yourself. Uh, well, uh, my name is Francisco. Uh, I'm actually uh, unemployed right now. Yeah, uh, it's been difficult to find a job. I've had actually several jobs that I can't manage to keep. How um, come? I, I don't know. I think it's I, I think it's usually it's the managers, coworkers. They just they don't like me. Really? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's their it's their problem. They're lost, not mine. So. Okay. So tell me about your relationship life. Do you have a Girlfriend or a wife? No, I, I mean, I've had several girlfriends, not a wife, uh, on and off. Can't seem to keep a girlfriend either. Um, it's just, it's pretty tough to find a girlfriend who I can understand or can actually understand me. So, what do you do? Like, um, so since you don't have a job, like what do you do, like on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, well, I, I I do try to find a job, but it's been difficult ever since I got fired from my last job for whatever reason it was. The Francine show was able to find out um, from your last employer your working relationship with them. And he actually expressed to us that you would always get there late. So tell me, uh, tell me a little more about your childhood. What did you used to do for fun? Like, did you have any pets? And oh, I couldn't keep them on at all. Really? Yeah. How come? Uh, well, uh, I, I would kill them. For whatever reason, I found it. How would you kill them, though? Uh, well, I choked my first puppy that I had. With your bare hands? With my bare hands, yeah. Um, I, I had a parrot, but Polly didn't want a cracker, so I, yeah, I grabbed it by the beak and just wound them up and killed them pretty quick. Okay, so you seem not to have any type of fear for the animals or emotional attachment or care whatsoever. No. Would you agree? Yeah, I, I agree. I, I've never felt fear before. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I hear about all these people saying that they're scared of snakes and scared of spiders, scared of other people. I've, I've never feared anything or anyone. Well, Francisco, you seem to be showing the typical signs of 
people that have antisocial personality disorder. Generally, people with this disorder tend to be fearless. They have a predisposition to fearlessness. They lack emotional attachment. They lack empathy. And um, they, th they're also known to be called sociopaths or psychopaths. So uh, Francisco, you seem to be dis displaying these qualities being that you have no care for rules, no emotion, no attachments, no empathy for the animals that you kill. <clears throat> How do you feel about that? I don't. At all. How would you feel if I told you that the Francine Show will be offering you treatment for your antisocial personality disorder? Treatment? Yes. I don't think there's anything wrong with me. Well, don't you want to live a, a more normal life like people that have stable jobs and have stable relationship and have, you know, experience normal emotions like caring and loving and, you know, generally having sympathy and empathy for others would you yeah. wouldn't you like to experience that type of emotion yeah, emotion? yeah. if i can experience yeah I, I would like to experience that maybe help me understand people more maybe i can actually keep a job yeah, yeah i wouldn't mind trying that out okay so would you accept or offer for psychotherapy with dr phil yeah, I, I'll accept it. Awesome. Thank you, Francisco, for coming on the Francine Show. Thank you. And, and we'll be right back with our last guest. Teenagers are the most vulnerable to depression and thoughts of suicide. Who else cares about your kids? We care. We're the We Care People, the family of agencies funded by the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board. Our teen screen program helps young people in Allen, Auglaize, and Hardin counties get the help and support they need when they need it most. On May 3rd, vote for the Mental Health and Recovery Services Levy because we care for your kids. Help me welcome our final guest for tonight, Princess. Have a seat, Princess. <clears throat> Can you get the bag too? Yeah. Okay. Welcome, Princess. It's so nice having you on the Francine show. Oh, thank you so much. I was just, I just so wanted to be on TV. Yeah. Okay, so obviously the audience loves you. Oh, they love me. You can keep clapping. Thanks. Okay. Okay, princess. So tell me about yourself. Well, I'm very in a wealthy family. My mom is one of the... She works at a company, obviously, with Chanel. Um, shout out. Okay. Um, and my dad is obviously the richest guy alive. He owns, um, he works in Mercedes. He deals, yeah, of the dealer head. So what do you do? Like, what do you do on a daily basis? Me? Um, I just go to clubs. Really? Yeah, parties. Because I like when, you know, the feeling when I walk in, everyone looks at me, so. Wow. It's How really often great. do you go? Twice? Every day? Yeah. You go every day? Yeah, every day. Wow. So, you're you're some type of celebrity. Oh yes. Oh definitely. Um oh. guys are all over me. Look at me. Look at me, come on, look at me. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. So tell me about your, your childhood, Princess. I understand that you were in a lot of pageants as a child. How was that for you? Oh, yeah. All the time. My mom always dolls me up, saying, yeah, you need to do pageants. And of, co and of course.
first. Did you yeah. actually win? Oh yeah, a hundred and five. Yeah. A really fun life, princess. Oh, of course. Yes. I mean, it's all about me. Do you? So, yeah. Do you have a lot of friends? Oh yeah, definitely a lot of friends. Because I mean, do you guys all do the same thing? Like, are they all wealthy in the same way and just like chill out all the time? Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, if they're not wealthy, what was the point? So, are you in any type of relationship right now? Like, oh, psh, tell me about it. You know, I just recently broke up with my boyfriend because he was like, Princess, you have too many like guys talking to you. And I'm like, why? Does that bother you? I mean, look at me. I mean, guys have to be on me, you know? So, I mean, I tried one time to like commit suicide just to like get his attention, but like, it didn't work. It, it, oh no, it'll come. Give him two days. He'll come. Two days. People with this disorder typically display symptoms of uh, the need for approval, other people's approval. They're very dramatic. Uh, they're, they're also very emotional, irrational. They're like a chameleon. They change to everyone's, you know, person personality or everyone's likes. They're very uh, irritable sometimes if things don't go their way. So Princess, I think you're suffering from histrionic personality disorder. <gasps> His what? Histrionic. You think I'm dramatic? This what it is? Well, I don't- I have a disease? It's not a disease. <laughs> No, princess. No. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm diseased. <gasps> oh oh my god. Princess. <gasps> it's okay. Just breathe. Is it? You don't have a disease. It's a mental illness. And it can be treated. Actually, the Francine show is offering you treatment for your disorder. So, so I can. So I can be um, pretty again? Yeah? Yeah, just on the inside. Uh, okay. You okay with that? The Francine Show is offering you cognitive behavioral therapy as a treatment for your... Um, excuse me? Treatment? Oh, psh. Yeah. Well, I'll leave because I have billions of doctors for that. So, I don't need treatment because I'm Are fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Nope. I'm fine. I mean, they love me. Look at me. Well, thank you, Princess, for coming on our show. Unfortunately, we cannot force everyone to accept the treatment that we offer. But our therapists in the back are going to talk to Princess and try to get some positive response from her so that she can receive treatment for her disorder. Thank you for watching the Francine show today. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Have a good evening. Personality is a unique and enduring pattern of inner experiences and outward behavior. We tend to react in our own predictable and constant ways. Personality traits may be the result of inherited and characteristics learned. We tend to react in our own predictable and constant ways. Personality traits may be the result of inherited characteristics, learned responses, or a combination of the two. A personality disorder, on the other hand, is an inflexible pattern of inner experience and outward behavior. Our three guests for today display three different types of personality disorders. Borderline personality, antisocial personality, and histrionic personality disorder. The treatment for these disorders are typically cognitive behavioral psychotherapy, which deals with their thinking process and their beliefs about themselves and other people. Another form of treatment is psychotropic medication. So if you or anyone that you know suffer from any one of these personality disorders, call 1-800 Francine.
To learn more about personality disorders, call for a free offer, Abnormal Psychology by Ronald J. Comer. The number at the bottom of your screen is 1-800-FRANCINE.